Buongiorno and welcome to the Piazza del Campo in beautiful Siena, Tuscany. In about five hours, Strada Bianchi will finish here. And what an extraordinary place to finish a bike race. But before then, the riders will have to face 180 kilometers and 11 sectors on gravel. And these are the white roads that the race takes its name from, Strada Bianchi. Strada Bianchi is the coolest professional bike race in the world. That's how I would describe it. It's like a group of friends got together like in this area and we're just like, like if we could make the coolest race, how would we do it? And then they just drew it on that and then we all come and do it. There's no other race really like it. I have a really bad experience <laughs> every year. <laughs> One, uh, yeah, crash, uh, flat tires, not feeling good. Uh, and uh, Strade Bianchi is like that. You, you train uh, months and months, and then after 20K, you find the first uh, climb really, really hard. If it's not your day, you can say hi to Strade Bianchi. Grinta is, uh, so you have to uh, close the, like, <sighs> come on. If you fall down, if you crash, if you have a flat tire, you always have the right grinta to come back to the race because I have so many bad experiences in the past. This year I say, you know, this year it has to change something. I don't want to finish the race in the car or I just want to arrive in Siena and say I gave my 110 because in this cycling 100% is not enough. You have to that 10% of grinta. Oh, it's me. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, Alberto. <laughs> the day of uh, Strade Bianche. Morning is come. It's our time. The riders are setting off behind me, now it's time to go and chase the race. We've arrived at the first gravel sector and the start of the race please most bikes already come through. Let's go and film the guy. It's just kind of like everyone hits it and everyone's just going for it. You know what I mean? Like we never race on dirt, so you can go, oh, cobbles, yeah, I was good last week, I know how the cobbles feel, but no one knows how the dirt feels, we do not do, we do it once a year. Dirt's a different ball game, and we just all do our best, so you're just kind of thrown in there and you do what you think's right and hope it works out, but it very well couldn't. So I think the fact that there's only one of these races a year, it's kind of hard to plan too much ahead, you've just kind of got to come in with an open mind. You know? And there goes the end of the race. As you can see, it's pretty dusty. <laughs> With the gravel, it's just like, some guys go on super slow and you're like, well, am I going too fast? You know what I mean? But then someone rips around you and you're like, oh, I can go way faster. But like, yeah, it's, it's just chaos is probably the only way I would describe it. <laughs> oh, well, that segment was absolute chaos. But Simon Clark was looking very strong in the lead chase group. So this year was my first proper opportunity to, to ride for myself. Uh, I did have two punctures, so it wasn't wasn't perfect. And then uh, after that, it's just all about legs. You ride good position and you do what you can. And, uh, I'm glad that I had a good day. I grew up in Melbourne on dirt roads, so I rode them my whole childhood. And uh, you know, it kind of feels like home racing here. Top 10 was my goal, and then once I knew I was in the top 10 on the road, I, I just did the best result I could. But...
But he was good. He felt great. He came to the car and he said he felt great. And then it came from out of nothing. So there's a big chance. I, I had a day of just suffering. It's still definitely the coolest race, but it kicked my ass today. <laughs>